Have you ever wondered what it is like to live in a society with sets of rules you have to follow? But these sets of rules are not just any sets of rules. In this society, if you break a major rule, it may cost your life. Anyway, this is Jonas, the main character of the story. Hey there, I am Jonas. Here is my family, Lily, Mom and Dad. My dad is a nurturer. He and all other nurturers were responsible for physical and emotional needs of every new child during its earliest life. Mom held a prominent position in the department. Lily is my younger sister and she is turning eight this year. Back at home, Jonas shares his feelings with the family after their evening meal. Jonas, you are the last for the feeling. I am feeling apprehensive. I know there's really nothing to worry about and that every adult has been through it, but it's the ceremony that I'm apprehensive about. The ceremony of twelves! Lily, go on now and get into your night clothes. Father and I are going to stay here and talk to Jonas for a while. I'm glad you told us your feelings. Jonas watched and waited as his father poured a fresh cup of coffee. You know, every December was exciting to me when I was young. It has been for you and Lily too. Each December brings changes. When I was an 11, I was very impatient, waiting for the ceremony of twelves. It was the lonely days before the ceremony of twelve. Finally, at the end of the second day, it was his turn. I remembered how proud my parents looked and my sister too. It happened during the recreation period when he had been playing with Asha. It was an incident that happened some time ago. The piece of fruit had well. This was the part that he couldn't adequately understood. The apple had changed. Just an instant, then it was in his hand, and he looked at it carefully, but it was the same apple, unchanged. Ash, does anything seem strange to you about the apple? Yes, it jumps out of hand onto the ground. Jonas tried to ignore his uneasy conviction with his laughter, but he knew that something had happened. This is the time we acknowledge differences. You 11s have spent all your years till now learning to fit in, to standardize your behavior, to curb any impulse that might set you apart from the group. But today, we honor your differences they have determined your futures. She began to describe this year's group. It is a variety of personalities, but did not mention anyone's name, mentioning that there was one who had singular skills at caretaking, another who loved ch- new children, one with unusual aptitude. Number one, please come up to the stage. Each announcement was lengthy, accompanied by a speech directed at the new twelve. Jonas tried to pay attention as the new twelve received her assignment along with words of praise. After some time, it was Fiona's turn to get her assignment, the girl before Jonas. Number 20, please come to the stage. She skipped me. Did I hear wrong? No, the chief elder makes no mistakes. But why did she skip me? Why did the chief elder skip Jonas? Will Jonas get his assignment? Read the book at a local library to find out. 